and five of those were doing something, and 20 of those were sitting your butt on the couch doing nothing. Hi everybody, Robert Jones back in the kitchen with you again. Today I have a really simple recipe for you. This is a great Thanksgiving recipe. It's a soup, it's a butternut squash soup. And it is very easy to make. You can make it a couple days ahead of time and come Thanksgiving or any other day, you will look like the hero with this soup. Okay you guys, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn on your fire here. We're gonna heat this pot up to pretty warm. We're gonna be doing some sauteing of onions. So you're gonna need one onion chopped up to a to a fairly nice mince. And then we have a special ingredient today. I don't know if you guys are used to cooking with this, but no, it's not butterscotch. This is actually a can that I use to collect bacon fat. So special for the holidays. You can use butter, you can use canola, you can use what you want. But since we're making this for the holidays, I thought we'd go a little special. What I do is I take the bacon after it's cooked on a Saturday morning. Uh, while it's still hot, I just pour it through a coffee filter and this is what you get. A nice, clean, I hope you guys can see that, a nice, clean bacon fat. So we're only going to use about one tablespoon. So we're just going to take a little scoop of this and put it in there. Okay, maybe you can see. It's starting to get hot. Melt that down a little bit. And when the fat gets hot, we're going to put the onions in and we're just going to saute them for a couple minutes just to make them soft. Uh, we don't want any color on them, we just want them soft. So it's going to be kind of a slow saute. Wow, smells like bacon. Okay, it looks like our fat is hot. So let's add our onions. Again, just a large onion. While our onion cooks, we can go ahead and add some spices and salt. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add about one teaspoon of salt. We're going to add one quarter teaspoon of black pepper, finely ground if you can do it. Normally you see me use a pepper grinder, but I want it small today. And the last ingredient is about an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Now, all of these may be adjusted later on as we, we get through and we make the soup. We'll do a final taste testing and we'll change it then. Now that our onion has softened up a bit, we have two pounds of diced butternut squash. I get this at Costco, it comes already chopped up, it makes it very easy. To me, there's no difference between buying this that's already pre-chopped and buying another one, just less frustration. So add two pounds of squash. If you have a bit more, if your squash is say maybe three pounds, that'll be fine too. To the squash and onion, we're gonna add six cups of chicken stock. and give this a stir. And once this comes back to a simmer, we're gonna let it simmer for about 20 minutes until the squash is soft. Well, you know what that sounds like. Turn that off. Check the soup. By the way, this soup is dedicated to Jonathan Royko, a fan on Facebook who asked to have his name mentioned and a recipe after him. So Jonathan Royko in New York, this soup is for you. So we've got the squash, as you can see here. It looks pretty cooked. You can see the onions are pretty translucent. I think they're cooked as well. Now you have some options. You could totally eat it like this. You could scoop this, throw this in a bowl, and you could eat it. Option number two, which might be good for some of you, Scoop these out with a slotted spoon, throw them in a blender and blend them. Or you can do what we're gonna do, which is option number three, and that is I have a stick blender here, and we're just gonna put it in here and blend it up. Give it another stir. Look at that, nice and smooth. Milk is smooth. So now, I'm gonna give it a little taste. Well, let me turn off the fire. There we go. Give it a little taste. Oh my God. 
you guys it's good gonna get a little a little bit in the middle of bowl here well a little more than that okay guys here's the part you've been waiting for hot soup hot soup taking a scoop of the hot soup hot soup taking a scoop mmm really good really fresh and literally like 25 minutes to make it and five of those were doing something and 20 of those were sitting your butt on the couch doing nothing all right another taste you want to garnish this put a little sour cream or creme fraiche a sprinkle more nutmeg you're good to go it's that easy hope you guys try this Hey you guys, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this soup today. As you can see, it's very easy, it only takes a couple ingredients, and your friends and family will be impressed. If you'd like to contact me on Facebook, it's E-U-D-A-E-M-O-N-I-U-S-M-A-R-K-2, which is I-I. If you'd like, check out the Etsy store down below in the comments. If you like the show, help me out. Thanks you guys, hope you enjoyed. Take care. Thank you.